setting up a Facebook store is really easy. There are just a few short steps which will get you up and running. In order to set up a store, you will first need a business page, your PayPal account details, a store banner image, some category images, and up to three images for each product that you want to sell. Start by completing the setup page. We will take you through some of the main things that you need to know. You can first set the status of your store to offline or leave it on live while you edit. You can change the name of your store, the type of business you have, the description of your store, about your store, your terms and conditions and your email address. We ask you to provide a customer service email address. This is important as it is the email address that will be provided on your customer's receipts. We also ask you to include a phone number. This is so that we can contact you should there be any important changes to the system or if we receive any queries from your customers. It is in the setup area where we ask you to provide your PayPal account details. It is very important that these details are correct, so we ask you to double check your PayPal email address and your PayPal merchant ID. In this box, you can enter your Google Analytics code. This provides an easy way for you to be able to track the activity of your store. If you click Choose File, you can upload an image for your store banner. Once you have updated all of your details, you simply click Update. Click OK. Now that your store has been initially set up, it's time to configure your shipping settings. Click on Type and Destination. Click on New Destination or Type and fill in your description. Your shipping description can be entered under individual country names or by the type of shipping you wish to provide, such as standard or priority. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to ship by country and we're going to type in USA. Once you have filled in your description, you click insert. And you will see USA appear here. Here you will see that you have the ability to restrict your shipping. This means that you can control what countries you ship to and restrict them only to the countries and types that you have listed. We're going to restrict our shipping to the USA. Once you have completed this, then you, set, then you simply click Set Shipping Calculation. We provide four options for you to choose from. You can select free shipping for all destinations and products. You can calculate your shipping on a per product basis. You can calculate your shipping on the entire cart or you can calculate your shipping based on the weight of your cart. For the purpose of this demonstration, we are going to calculate our shipping based on the entire cart. If you scroll down, you will see your countries or your types of shipping listed here. If you click on edit, you will be asked to insert a price which you can assign to that description. We are going to charge $5 to ship to the USA. Once you have done this, you simply click update. Now that your shipping has been configured, it's time to add categories. Click on the Categories button and then simply click New Category and fill in the details. We're going to make a category for feather hair extensions. The description of your category, so our feather hair extensions are handmade. Whether or not you would like your product to be light gated or featured. Then you simply upload a picture that you feel represents the entire category we're going to choose a selection of hair extensions. Once you have done this, you simply click Save. And that's all there is to it. If you want to add more categories, you simply click on the New Category button again and repeat the process. Now let's add some products to our category. Click on Products. And you'll be brought to this screen. There are three ways for you to upload products. For Magento users, you can upload using our Magento tool through third-party carts on the left-hand side. You can upload products through CSV Upload or manually by clicking on New Product. We're going to add a product manually. Add your product name, so ours is the Feather Charm, a description of your product, a long description of your product, the category you wish to assign it to, so we want to assign it to Feather Extensions, 
the amount of stock that you have. So we have 15 charms. And then you fill in your price. Normally our charms cost $20. But if you like our page, we're going to charge 15. We want to like gate our product and we would like to feature it. Then you simply select up to three images that you feel will represent your product well. Once you have uploaded your pictures, you simply click save. And that's all there is to it. If you click view store, you will see that our feather extensions appear in the categories panel. If you click into the category, you will see our product and you will see that we have liked the page. So therefore we receive the product for $15 and that's all there is to it. So you're ready to start selling through Vendor Shop.